What's up everyone? It's Branso75. And due to the positive feedback I got back on my permissions X tutorial, I'm going to be continuing this with the series called Simplest Tutorials Ever. Alright, so I figured that MC Band is an amazing plugin. I use it personally. And I think it can be kind of tricky to the unknown. So I thought I'd do a simple tutorial on how to install this plugin and use it properly. Alright, so first thing, go to the description box and go to the bucket page and download the version. Alright, so when you get that, you're going to have this file called mcbands4.21. Alright, we're going to want to go ahead and add this to our plugins folder. So, add. Okay. And I think we have Minecraft in the background. And indeed we do. Anyway, not part of the point. Okay, so anyway. So now you're going to want to go ahead and run your server. Stop. Alright, cool. MC Bands is now loaded. Alright, go to the plugins file and open up the MC Bands folder. And open up config. Alright. Pay attention to right here. It says your API key. This is important. We are going to need this. All right. So now we are going to need to go to mcbands.com. If you have not already created an account, you need to do so. It's going to be over here. You just click register or create account or something. And so when you log in and create your account, it's going to bring you to this page right here. Uh, right here. All right. So now. So now you're going to see you have a bunch of little buttons right here and you're going to want to click register server. All you got to do is put your IP address in here. So we'll do dot dot whatever. All right. So just put your IP address there, put it in the description and then just register your server. All right. So when you, so when you register your server, you're going to see a list of servers here. All right. So under this, under this one right here is called the API key. We need to copy this. So go back into your config and paste. Make sure you have the space between the one or between the number and the colon because otherwise it's going to be messed up because YML don't like that. Um, that's relatively all you have to do for this. You can go in and change a couple little things, but you really don't have to. You don't really need to change anything. Personally, I just like to change this to permissions X because I use permissions X. All right. So then you just save that and then close it out. All right. Next thing we got to do, we got to add permissions to our staff ranks or moderator or whatever you want to call them. All right. So go back to the bucket page and you're going to see a whole slew list of permission nodes. So they're relatively simple. They tell you exactly what, what they do. They tell you what to ban, how to ban, anyway. So that's pretty much it. Just make sure you go and you add the permission nodes um, to what you're going to need. Uh, if you don't know how to add a permission node, go back and watch my permissions X tutorial uh, because that covers everything about that. So so we're just going to do, we're going to do a simple one. We're just going to add, uh, say we already did that. We're going to add mcbands.kick. Anyway, so... That's pretty much all you have to do for the setup. So, and then you just want to start your server again and then go in game and then we're going to go over some commands. Um, MC bands overrides all uh, banning plugins. So MC bands is going to take priority. So MC bands will be the priority that one that bans. All right. So first command is just going to be um, slash ban and then you want to do name and then you want to do reason. Um, this will tell the people when they're kicked, why they've been kicked, or why they've been banned. Um, same goes for kick, do kick, player, and then reason. Um, replace player with the player's name, of course, but that's pretty much that. Um, and another one, this one's gonna be, this one's a little bit tricky. Um, this one is temp ban, oh, sorry. Uh, this one is temp ban, so whenever, say, someone fucking, um, does something stupid, but it's not, you know, it's not worth a permanent ban, you can just go ahead and type this command. So you do temp ban, space, then do the player name, 
and then you want to do this is the time period and how the time period works is that you put in the number that you want so say you want to ban someone for 15 minutes or 15 hours okay um, you put in the number first and then you put either an M or an H this will ban the person for either M or an H you have to make sure you have the space here because doing 15 M or 15 H will not work you need the time and then the interval so we're gonna do M and then you just want to put your reason so soup all right and that's pretty much it and easy way to unban people is slash unban and then player and one more command this was gonna be really helpful so say say a new person comes on your server and you don't know if this person has you know a good ban record so you can do this command slash look up and then we'll do this person as you can see this person has a pretty clean record at least with MC bands anyway um, MC bands for some reason I'm not seeing implemented on too many servers be I think it's because people are just a little confused on how it works um, but but yeah and that's pretty much it once you once you get your server registered and you put in your API key that's pretty much all you have to do so if you want to come on my server come check it out all the links will be in the description box i want you all to have a fabulous day peace